for one moment to, to, to New York. Sure. Um, Commissioner Bratton was on this show and been on other shows this morning uh, saying this may be the first or second significant attack on the city since 9-11. Uh, the concerns about a lone wolf attack or how do we stop it. Is there any new kind of thinking that has to emerge around this lone wolf theory? Because it seems mm -hmm. to be the, the last several we are dealing with have been lone wolves. And I understand the difficulty of it. But is there any kind of change or reform thinking within the White House or at Homeland Security? And maybe Secretary Johnson is better fit yeah. to answer the question. I'm just yeah. curious how you guys are dealing with this and thinking about this. Well, there are a couple of things that we have tried to do. The first is we have intensified our cooperation with the private sector. And we know that a lot of this radical ideology that ISIL is trying to propagate is being spread online. So we have had a lot of success working with Twitter, working with Facebook, working with other technology companies to try to shut down the outlets that those extremist organizations are using to propagate their ideology. We know that what they're trying to do is they're trying to poison, poison vulnerable individuals. So if we can try to prevent them from doing that, we can do that. And there has been a stepped up cooperation from technology companies to do that, and, and that is to their credit. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can also work to try to lift up the voices of prominent uh, patriotic Muslims in the United States. There are millions of them. They can speak to the uh, poisonous, empty, bankrupt mythology that's being propagated by ISIL. In some ways, this is actually just a war of narratives. And so we want to make sure that we're getting out our counter narrative against ISIL. And we're having some progress, or we're making some progress. More than 50% of the territory that ISIL had gained in Iraq has now been retaken by Iraqi forces. Uh, about 20, 25% of the territory in Syria has been taken back. We're, we've got intense pressure on their leadership, including taking out two senior external ISIL plotters just in the last couple of weeks. That counters the narrative that they previously benefited from of being an organization that was on the move. Now they're, now they're uh, an organization that is on retreat because of the strategy that we've implemented that goes directly to their narrative. The last thing, and the president's talked about this a lot, we also can't give them the narrative victory of suggesting that every Muslim is responsible for this kind of terrorism. Right. We, we, can't, we can't give in to this narrative that ISIL wants to build up, that the United States is at war with Islam. That is false. That is not true. Uh, and we can't, uh, with some of this rhetoric, we can't allow uh, that kind of narrative victory to be given to them. We need to push back against that. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's part of the distressing rhetoric that the campaign is, uh, has been a part of.